Welcome to Nux News, your source for news from around the Nux community. Brought to you by Full Stack Jack. Visit the Full Stack Jack YouTube channel for more. Launch your Nux 3 journey with Michael Teason's Mastery Nux course. Planned launch date is October 25th, 2022. There's still time to sign up for an early bird discount. I know I have. The link to the sign up page is in the description. Now let's get into some module highlights from around the community. If you need some wind in your sails when starting a Nux content based application, Content Wind has got you covered. Take it from me folks, I spent hours setting up a blog that essentially looks the exact same as Content Wind. Had I known about it earlier, I would have saved all that time. It's ready to go. The configuration has been done for you. It's got Tailwind CSS, Iconify with thousands of icons icons ready for you to use, code highlighting, syntax highlighting. All you need to do is check out Content Win to get a head start. Nuxt Apollo allows you to effortlessly integrate GraphQL into your Nuxt 3 projects. To get started, use Yarn to add Apollo to your project. Next, add Apollo to your modules inside your Nuxt config. Then add an Apollo section to your Nuxt config and let Apollo know where it will be calling. In this example, we're using the SpaceX GraphQL endpoint because I'm too lazy to come up with my own examples. Now you're ready to launch some GraphQL queries. Nuxt Apollo automatically imports the GraphQL tag function as well as key composables. Just add your GraphQL query along with any variables necessary. Then we'll use async query to get the data from your endpoint. Then we're able to use that data in our template just as we would any other data. Congratulations, you now have a SpaceX launches website. Wouldn't it be cool if we could launch a site with a single file straight to our browser? With Daniel Rowe's Nux Web Bundle, we can. Simply add the Nux Web Bundle using Yarn, add Nux Web Bundle to your modules, then add a web bundle section to your Nux config where you give the base URL, then run npx nuxy build as you would any other time. Instead of getting the normal build, you're going to get a single file that you can use to deploy. To test it out, we'll make sure we enable the web bundles feature within our Chrome browser, which is definitely experimental at the moment. Then simply drag and drop that one file into the browser and voila! We have ourselves a working website. Links are in the description. I'll see you in the next one.